Namaste and good morning. Let's start by interlock the fingers and turn the palms facing the sky giving a deep stretch to the whole body. And exhale gentle release. Bring the right hand on the side of the head and slowly push to the side. Use the weight of your arm to push your head. Good. Let's take it to the other side, left hand on your head and slowly push to the side. Keep your eyes closed and continue focusing on your breath, feeling the stretch on your neck. Release your hands and slowly make big circle with your head. Good. Only the neck moving, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the face muscle. Let's roll to one side and let's roll to the other side. As you inhale, right arm up and exhale, slowly slide to the other side, giving a deep stretch to the side body. Inhale back to the center, switching arm and exhale, lean to the other side. Come back to the center Take a deep inhale, reach both arms up and exhale, twist to the right side using your hand on your knee. Inhale to lengthen the spine and exhale, deepen the twist. As you inhale, back to the center and exhale, twist to the left side. Use your back hand to deepen the twist and try to look back as much as you can. Inhale back to the center and exhale gentle release. Now bring the right foot close to the hips, straight the left leg. Inhale reach both arms up, turn the chest to the left and exhale forward bend towards the left leg. Very gently bend from the hips, let the weight of the chest deepen the stretch. Keep the left leg engaged, flex the foot, breathe deeply. Relax the two hands by the side of the leg and continue to breathe deeply, welcoming oxygen. Slowly release, bring the chest back up and then the right hand and the right knee on the mat, straight the left leg and open up the left arm above your head, side plank, making one line from the fingertips to your toes. And slowly release, sitting back on your mat and switching side, this time bringing the left foot closer to your hips, straight the right leg, inhale, reach both arms up, turn the chest to the right and exhale slowly forward bend towards the right foot. Let the weight of the chest deepen the stretch. Flexing the foot and reaching forward with your head. Feel free to close your eyes, bringing all the attention to your breath and meditate on the pose. Welcome the prana, life energy, as you inhale. Release all the tension as you exhale. And slowly release, lifting the chest up. And now bring the left knee on the mat and open up the right arm above your head. Side plank. 
try to turn your chest up as much as you can. Keep making one line from the fingertips to your toes, giving a nice and long deep stretch to the side body. One more deep breath. And slowly release, dropping your hips down. And gently come sitting on the front of the mat with the two soles of the feet touching the ground. As you inhale, reach both arms forward. And exhale, slowly roll the spine all the way down, hugging the knees to the chest, Apanasana. Now take a deep inhale in. And as you exhale, straight the right leg up. Flex the foot and gently pull the leg towards the chest, giving a gentle stretch to your armstring. You can always use a strap around the foot to help you pulling the leg closer to your chest. Make sure to ground the lower back and the shoulders on the mat. Final deep breath. And slowly release. And now let's take it to the other side. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, straight the left leg and gently pull the leg closer to your chest. Flex the foot and make sure to ground your lower back and shoulders on the mat. Gentle stretch on your armstrings. Final deep breath. And slowly release your leg. Now let's take it both sides. As you exhale, both legs straight, flex the feet and gently pull the leg closer to your chest. Feel free to use a strap around your toes. Slowly release your legs and let's start rocking forward and backward. Cross your two feet and step back to your child pose, bringing the knees to the mat, opening them wide apart and as you exhale, sitting on your heels. Reach forward with your two hands to lengthen the spine and enjoy this resting pose. Take a moment here to reconnect with your breath. As you inhale, come back to all fours and straight the right leg and the left arm, finding your balance. Keep lengthen through the spine like someone's pulling you. Now bend the knee and grab your ankle. Take a deep inhale and press the shin bone away of your body, giving a gentle back bend. And exhale, release your leg. Come back to all fours and let's take it to the other side. Straighten the left leg and open up the right arm. Find your balance. Keep reaching forward with your hand and backward with your leg. Now bend the knee and grab your ankle. Take a deep inhale and press the shin bone away of your body. Open up the chest, giving a gentle back bend. Keep breathing deeply and exhale, gentle release and come back to all fours. Now tuck your toes, lift the knees up, press with the shoulder and slowly straight your two legs coming into a downward facing dog. Feel free to bend one knee after the other one, walking your dog, giving a gentle stretch to the back of your leg and your shoulders. Few more deep breaths. And inhale, roll your spine like a wave, coming to your plank. Shoulders slightly above the wrist. Squeeze your legs together. And exhale, press back to downward facing dog, sending the tailbone up. And again, inhale, roll your spine, coming to your plank. And exhale, drop the knees, chest, chin to the mat. Elbows close to your body. On the next inhale, drop the feet, drop the hips, roll the shoulder back and open up the chest to a cobra or a sphinx pose, bringing the elbows to the mat. Now as you inhale, look above the right shoulder, gentle twist to the spine, 
and slowly look above the left shoulder. Slowly come back to the center, release the chest and bring the two hands close to your body, roll the shoulder back, take a deep inhale, lift the chest up and exhale gentle release. Inhale, lift the chest up again and exhale gentle release. Last one, take a deep inhale, lift the chest up and stay there. Bujangasana, Cobra. Keep the pelvic grounded to the mat. Squeeze your legs together. Open up through the chest. And keep your two elbows slightly bended. One more deep breath. And exhale, release the chest. Tuck your toes and press back to downward facing dog. As you inhale, slowly walk your feet towards your hands, halfway up for a flat back, lengthen to the spine, interlock the fingers on your back, stretch your two arms and exhale standing forward fold. Shift all your weight on your toes. Rocking side to side to give a deeper stretch to the back of your legs. Continue breathing out deeply. Tucking your belly button in. One more deep breath. Slowly release your two hands and inhale, roll your spine all the way up to standing with the two arms by the side of your body. Catch your breath and find your balance in standing. And take a deep inhale, reach both arms up, lifting the left knee up. As you exhale, interlock the fingers on the knee and bring the knee closer to your chest. Pelvic neutral, shoulders relaxed. You can stretch your right arm with the chin mudra and open up the left knee to the side. Open up the hips, find your balance. Fix your mind on your knee and ground your heel all the way down to the mat. Now slowly bring the sole of the foot on your thigh and inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart center, coming into the tree pose, Dhruvasana. Relax the shoulders away from the ears and activate your core. Try not to lean forward or backward. Keep your hips even and slightly press the sole of the foot into your inner thigh. Find stillness in your mind. As you exhale, slowly release and let's take it to the other side. Take a deep inhale, lifting the right knee up, both arms up. Use your core to lift the knee as high as you can. And exhale, interlock the finger, grabbing the knee and pressing the knee closer to your chest. It's a great pose to stretch your thigh, your hip and play around with your balance. You can take a variation by straighten the left arm and open up the knee to the side. Good, continue to square up your hips and keep your balance. Now gently bring the sole of the foot to your inner thigh and inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, bring your hand to the heart center. Triple Truvasana. Fix a point, find your gaze. Strong and steady roots. This pose helps to build our focus. Now as you exhale, slowly release and open up the two feet wide apart with the toes facing out. Take a deep inhale, reach both arms up and exhale, bend the knees with the cactus arms. Inhale, reach up, straight your two legs and exhale, bend the knees, coming into a goddess pose. Good. If you want to take a step further, slowly lift the heels up, breeze, 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 use your core. Try not to lean forward. Stay there and breathe deeply. Find the inner strength within yourself. Final deep breath, three, two, one, and exhale, gentle release. Now bend the right knee, coming into a side lunge, flex the left foot and turn the chest to the left as much as you can. It's a great pose to work on a hip flexor. 
Now you can bring the two hands on the mat and come in to the other side, side lunge. Bring your two hands to the heart center and turn your chest to the right as much as you can. Good. Let's walk without the hands now. As you inhale, switching side to the other leg, side lunge. Flex the foot and you can even open the two arms. Good. Let's do that two more times. Bring your hands to the heart center, find your balance and switching side, side lunge to the other leg. Flex the foot and open the two arms. Good. Hands to the heart center again. And as you inhale, switching side to the other leg. Now reach the top of the mat with your two hands back to high lunge. As you inhale, lift the chest up and exhale, sink the hips down, shoulders away from the ears. Keep the front knee 90 degree. Knee right above your ankle. The back heel is up and the back leg straight. On the next inhale, drop the back heel, open up to warrior two. Make sure that the front heel is right in the middle of the back foot and the front knee 90 degree. As you inhale, stretch your leg, arms up and let's take it to the other side, turning the right toes and bending the front knee, warrior two. Strong and fierce warrior. Feel the power in your legs. Now slowly lift the back heel up, rolling the arm, facing the front leg, coming into a high lunge. Good. Keeping the front knee 90 degree, knee right above the ankle. Feel free to take a little arch with your back and coming back to the center. And let's take our vinyasa. On the next inhale, dive down, hands to the mat and step back to the plank. Exhale, Chaturanga, upward facing dog as you inhale, and exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take a couple of breaths to reset. And on the next inhale, hop in between your two hands, crossing the feet and rolling yourself all the way down to the mat. Good. Now let's take our recline pigeon pose, bringing the left ankle to the right knee and pulling the right leg closer to your chest giving a deep stretch to the left leg. Make sure to ground the shoulders and the lower back on the mat. Find your own level when the stretch is good for you. You can either grab your thigh or your shin bone. Breathe out deeply as you relax. Good. Now let's take it to the other side, bringing the right ankle to the left knee and gently pulling the left leg closer to your chest giving you a nice deep stretch to the glutes. Notice all the sensation in your leg and slowly adjust the stretch by pulling the knee closer to the chest. Final deep breath. And as you exhale, slowly release your leg. Keep the left knee closer to the chest and drop the knee to the right side of the mat. Open up the left arm looking towards the left side giving a nice and gentle twist to your spine. Let the gravity pull your knee down. Feel free to close your eyes and just relax on the pose. Now gently come back to the center and let's take it to the other side, grabbing the right knee, straight the left leg and dropping the knee to the left side of the mat. Open up the right arm on the side, turning your head, closing your eyes and relaxing, enjoying this nice twist on the spine. Let's start to meditate and noticing all the sensation in your body. Now slowly come back to the center, to the Apanasana, hugging the two knees and keep the right knee on the chest and straight the left leg. Keep the leg up and try to touch the nose with the right knee. Pavan Muktasana, the wind relieving pose. Now switching legs, grabbing the left knee, straight the right leg and try to keep the foot up. Lift the shoulders off the ground and try to touch your knee with your nose. 
deep breath and squeeze your leg. And exhale, gentle release. And release the two soles of the feet on the mat, lifting the hips up, coming into the bridge pose. Interlock your fingers and strike your two arms, rolling the shoulder blades inward. Now as you inhale, bring the right leg up. Continue pressing firmly with your bottom leg, keeping the hips up. Hold the pose for two long breaths. And exhale, slowly release. Taking it to the other side, lifting the left leg up and continue pressing firmly with the bottom leg, bringing the hips up as much as you can. And exhale, drop the leg and now release, coming again to the Apanasana, hugging the knees to the chest. Now straight the two legs in front of your head, flexing the feet, bringing the two palms by the side of your body. And drop the legs down in five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release. You can now come to a well-deserved Shavasana, opening the two palms facing the sky and relaxing the whole body. Close your eyes and bring your attention back to your breath. Now slowly bring your attention back to your toes and into your fingertips. You can stretch your two arms above your head, giving a nice deep stretch to the whole body. And slowly roll to the right side, using your arm as a pillow. Keep your eyes closed. And when you're ready, slowly press yourself back to a cross leg sitting pose. And take a deep inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart center. One more time, reach both arms up to the sky as you inhale and exhale out through the mouth. Hands to the heart center. Now come back to a normal breathing and slowly bow down your head. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me and I wish you a very pleasant day.